Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use an Inksot online store to make a business landing page. A business landing page is essentially a website for your company. And nowadays, every business needs a website and an official online presence. This is critical for customers to be able to find you, learn about your company, and see what services or products you offer. Now, if you're not familiar with the online stores yet, please click the link in the description to watch an overview video on stores first. You can also visit help.inksoft.com or contact our support team to learn more. So, I've just established a new store here in Inksoft, and so far I have a header with my company logo, a featured products area, and a footer. My logo is displayed automatically, since I previously uploaded it during the store building process. If you didn't get a chance to upload your logo then, you can always add it afterwards. To do that and begin editing your page in general, click on Style Editor in the admin area above the header. You'll now be able to edit and configure your web page here. Every part of the page is made up of what we call components or customizable modules. When you hover over a component, you have options to edit or configure that module. This includes choosing the content, style, and settings for each component. You'll see these options on the left side of the screen. When I click Edit on my header, I can change the layout to choose the look I want for my header. I can also choose a background color. I can choose which links display in my header. And I can upload or remove my company logo and edit the size of the logo with this handy slider. Once I'm done with my header, I can move on to the next default component that came with the store. This is a featured products component and you may or may not need this for your company website. If you have branded products or any other products you wish to promote and sell on your company site, then you can create those products using the built-in Rapid Product Creator and then feature them on the homepage of your website. This is optional and completely up to you. Next up is the footer for my website. Just like the header, I can click Edit and change the layout, background color, and links displayed to make it look the way I want. You'll notice that when I go to choose colors, the system is automatically sampling the colors from my company logo I've uploaded. This makes it super easy to style my page and add consistent branding. When you're happy with the changes you've made so far, make sure to click Save and Publish to save your work. You can then continue to work on your site. Now that we've configured the default components for the site, let's take a look at some of the other components we can add. Click the plus button in the bottom right to access the list of available components. You'll see a list of all the components, and below you'll see preview images of the different components and their layout and style options. For my company website, I want to promote the fact that I offer custom decorated apparel and that users can even design their own products in my online designer. A simple content block will allow me to do just that. A content block will have some tools that allow me to add text, images, and links. And all of it can be customized to make it look the way I want. However, I've already created some custom banners outside of Inksoft that I think will better convey my message and branding to my customers in a unique way. To take advantage of those custom banners, I'll use the Hero Space banner component instead. Since I want my banner to fill the page edge to edge, I'll choose Layout 2 for the component. You'll notice that it gives a recommended size for the banner image, so I've made sure that my custom banners are sized accordingly. I can click here to upload my banner.
and I can choose to leave the gradient filter turned on or off. And whether or not my banner image will be a link to another web page or area. We'll come back to this link option later. You can also see that there's an option to add additional banners to the same component, giving it a slideshow effect. The settings for how the banners display are located here. For my component, I'm going to choose just the single banner image. Now I have my first banner on the page, but it's at the bottom just above the footer. You can change the order of components between the header and footer by clicking on the arrows that display in the top left corner of each component. I'll move my banner up so it's located just below the header on my page. Next, I want to display a simple graphic called How It Works. Since I have a custom banner image for this as well, I'll again choose the Hero Space Banner component. This will also just utilize a single banner image. I'll go ahead and move it up right below my first banner. Now that I have some nice graphics on my page that promote an online designer for my customers, I want to create a call to action. The call to action component lets me tell my customers about a service, feature, or promotion that I'm offering, and then lets them take action on that. For my website, I want to give them another way to access the designer. The settings let me easily add the heading and subheading for the information. I can choose if I want one button or two, what the buttons say, and where the buttons take the customer when they click on them. I'll go ahead and configure my call to action component now. The next thing I want to promote and tell customers about is my custom store creation service. I can use Inksoft to create custom products and online stores for many different kinds of organizations and events, and I want customers to see this on my company website. I'll add another custom banner for this as well. Now that I have my banner image, I'll add another type of component right below it that also calls for the customer to take action on this service. I'll use the Request a Quote component. The Request a Quote component is similar to the Call to Action component, but it also allows you to configure a custom form for users to fill out. It also doesn't have to be used for quote requests. In my website, I'll be using this component to let customers request a store and provide me with some information on what they're looking for. I can add the email address that will receive the form submissions, and I can add my form heading and subheading. The form will capture the person's name and email address and then you have options on the rest of the built-in fields to choose which ones are active and which ones are also required in your form. You can even customize the message they see when the form is submitted. Once you've configured the form, you can edit the information for the component itself. OK, now my company website has information on what we do and what services we offer, and I also have some things customers can take action on. This is a good time to save and publish again if you're happy with your changes so far. Next, I want to tell customers a little bit about my company and provide some business hours. This doesn't have to be too extensive either. A simple graphic and a couple of sentences will do the trick. I'm going to utilize another custom banner for this. So, if we take a look at the page so far, it looks pretty good. I have my company logo and some great branding with the custom banner images. 
And more importantly, I've made sure my site includes what every great business landing page should have. Information about the company and who we are. Information about products and services we offer. Prompts for customers to engage and take action on some things. And a way for users to request more information and contact me. However, you can continue to add more components and information on your site if you have the need. For example, I'll add one last banner image on my page to feature brands and manufacturers my company works with. I can also add branded products to sell on my site via the Featured Products component. And since I am selling products on my site, I can add a promo bar component that features a discount code customers can take advantage of at checkout. I'm also promoting an online designer and encouraging customers to decorate and purchase their own custom products. If this is something you would like to offer on your site, just follow these steps. Click Save and Publish to make sure your recent changes are saved. Exit the Style Editor by clicking the back arrow in the top left corner. Click on Store Admin in the Admin area above the header. On the left, click the gear icon to access the store settings. This is where you can configure all of the settings for how your site functions. Most of these settings were configured during the step-by-step -step store building process when you first established the site but you can revisit any of these settings based on the needs of your company page and what functionality and content it has. For example, if you need to enable the online designer, you can do this here. Click on Designer and you'll be able to turn it on and configure all the settings and options for it. Once everything is set up and you've saved and published, Click on Storefront in the Admin area to see what your landing page looks like outside of Edit Mode. You'll notice that enabling the designer adds a Create link in the header. This is the default way customers will access the designer on your site. If you click on that link, you'll be taken to the designer experience. This part of the site has its own URL or web address, which means that it's a different page on your site. If you highlight and copy that web address, you can then head back to the home page of the site, enter the style editor, and begin to add that address to any other links that should send the user to the designer. For example, I can edit both of my banners at the top of my page to link to the designer page on my site. I can also edit the Call to Action component so the Start Designing Now button takes the user to the designer as well. Remember, if you are linking to the designer, make sure to change the word Beta to Stores in the URL, or make sure this displays your custom domain if you have one assigned. There are many different ways to provide links via different components on your page, and these links can go to other areas on your site or they can even send the user to an external web page if you have the need. It's completely up to you. My business landing page is now complete, and I'm even using it as an e-commerce store by having the designer and selling branded products in there as well. However, keep in mind that those things are not absolutely necessary in order to have a successful, great-looking company page. Your site can be strictly for informational purposes if you wish. In fact, if I remove most of the components in my site and leave only the information about my custom store's services and the About Us section, it still does a great job as a business landing page. It has great branding, looks professional and official, and it still gives my customers a way to connect with me and my company. Just remember that if you're not using the e-commerce portion of the site, you can turn this off entirely in the store settings. If you are selling products and taking orders on your page, then you'll leave the e-commerce settings enabled, 
and you'll want to make sure that everything is configured properly for the store. This will include things like shipping or pickup options, checkout settings, production schedule, and more. Before we conclude the video, here are some final tips and options for your business landing page. Explore the rest of the components available. There are options for fundraising functionality, countdown timers, and even a way to add testimonials from your happy customers and clients. Get creative with the components and utilize them in ways that will add value and an engaging experience for anyone that visits your site. Also, when you're in the style editor, make sure you're not editing any one specific component. If you are, you can back out of the settings for that component by clicking this back arrow. You will then see Style on the left side. These are the overall style settings for your site. Here you can choose site colors for the background and for any built-in buttons on your components. You can also choose specific fonts for your site to make sure this is in line with the rest of your branding and style. And finally, there's social media. Having your own company website is very important, but you can't forget to provide users with links to any social media accounts you have for your business. Customers need to be able to find you easily anywhere that you have an online presence. To add social media accounts and functionality to your site, head to Store Settings and click on Social Media. Here you'll be able to add your own social media accounts, and you can also display social share buttons on your site. Social share buttons are designed to let customers share your site on their social media accounts so they can tell friends and family about you and spread the word. Links to any of your social media accounts will be displayed in the footer of your site, like this. And that about does it for this video. If you didn't already have a web page for your business, or you have one but you'd like something simple, fresh, and with a clean and modern look, then take advantage of the Inksoft online stores. They're easy to build and they look great. And with the visual style editor and customizable components, you can create the look and layout of your site without the need to modify themes or have any web design experience. Thanks for watching, and if you need any help configuring your business landing page, please feel free to contact the support team. Our store building experts will guide you and help ensure that you have a great looking website for your company.